Hey my lovelies, it's Imogen aka Miss Emma Insane and welcome to my video. So I could give you all the excuses under the sun as to why I have not filmed this last month. Uh, my computer wasn't wasn't working, I had technical issues, I got doing other stuff, I wasn't very well, I could like literally give you all the excuses. So I'm back even though I now have two lots to film, so this is going to be another one of those gigantic epically long videos of eight magazines. Um, you didn't so much complain last time, so I'm hoping you're not going to complain this time. And uh... Next month I will try and get back on, or this month now, because it's happy 1st of September. I will try and get back on track and filming like every month as they come in. Okay, so first of all we have this piece of Hawk's Eye, which is otherwise known as Tiger's Eye Blue. However, I don't feel that this is very good representation. It has a lot of scarring in it. And please excuse my nails, I've been inking so they're stained. But it should be kind of like if you imagine how Tiger's Eye is, where when you shine it, it has like that goldy brown in it. It should kind of be like that, but only have blue banding inside of it. So I don't feel like this is a great representation of Hawk's Eye at all, to be honest. However, it is kind of oddly heart shaped. And then for the cards, we have the. Uh, 14, uh, the card 14 Temperance and card 14 The Tower of <laughs> the Dead Women falling out the exploding tower, that's a bit graphic. Um, then we have the Seven of Cups and the Alternative Seven of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Cups and the Alternative Eight of Cups. So that's more of our tarot cards there. As for the magazine, we have da, 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 da. experimenting with your own scents, choosing appropriate carrier oil and such. Practical considerations for blending. Feng Shui solutions for design problems. Overcoming design obstacles, so this is talking a lot about home. Healing traditions of the Japanese. Japanese healing herbs. So we have some information on healing tonics such as green tea and um, uh, along with some other others. Learning about proposal traditions and more on proposal traditions in other countries. Then we have reading the Three of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, reading hand, reading hand thickness and flexibility. My hand is like quite flexible and stuff, yeah, uh, which is part of my medical illness, which is um, the hypersensitive mobility situation that I got going on that causes me a lot of pain and problems. Yeah, so apparently there's a, a thing for how flexible you are. That's a thing apparently. Uh, in palmistry anyway. Understanding the sign cancer. Cancer in birth charts. How to read patterns in the cup. So it's more of a tassiography, and I spoke about that last time, or maybe it was the time before now, and I gave you a book recommendation. Uh, how to divide your cup. So this has got some awesome information on that, which I'm quite looking forward to actually reading that. The magic of coloured quartz. using coloured quartz, so we have uh, red for energy, green for gravity, blue for travelling, orange for intimacy. Charms for war and bravery. 
uh, types of battle charms understanding the Egyptian determinatives oh. determinate I don't know the stories of deja vu breaking the ice and finally we have interview techniques and love tokens around the world so some tokens of so next we have these which to be honest the cardboard smells more than the cones um i don't know if they're better burnt so let's try one honestly it just smells like burning wood or cardboard so possibly sandalwood wildflower incense cones now i've actually moved it away you can smell like it smells more like hibiscus flower now i've actually moved it over there it doesn't actually smell too bad anywho then we have more of the i ching cards let me murder their names so i or i kui ku chvi shang or xing kun i'm sure a lot of these are like the same cards uh but here's the backs of them Oops, sorry So that's more of the I Ching cards. And issue 78, we have using oils for first aid. Uh, your healing aromatherapy techniques. Herbal remedies for aches and pains. Herbs for aches and pains. M So we have ginger, the root of ginger is commonly used for herbal medicine, garlic, peppermint, peppermint is useful for tackling effects of illness, I don't even know what that is, uh, etiana, echinacea, some kind of root, comfrey, comfrey seeds, um, cell renewal and seeds, cell renewal and also aids recovery meadow sweet and a few others there and a hot citrus and honey soothe drink meditation for problem solving i think we could all do with that and again continued performing the sitting bend you notice i'm not even attempting to pronounce these words anymore the sitting bend step by step uh reflexology sequence the right hand step-by-step -step sequence for the right hand Ex uh, that's kind of similar to what my physio has actually got me doing um, exploring the psychology of friendship and different types of friendships sensual summer pots of love now they are just too cute just saying how to make love pots so we have this continued so there is some kind of spell uh, it looks like she's putting rose quartz in there and she's obviously decorated it and including ribbon and various other items which would go into some kind of spell work i'm sure advanced tarot numbers of symbolism numbers in tarot interpreting the sixth house Planets in the sixth house and the zodiac signs throughout the sixth house. Celebrating the passage of life. Words to celebrate life birth and name verses, um, menearch verses, hand fasting verses, menopause verses, and recurring verses. I probably mispronounced most of those words. The Festival of the Dead, Halloween Festival, Samhain, yay! Doesn't say Samhain, I, I added that to it. Uh, 
but that's what it is and on the back we have rituals and symbols of halloween um yeah so we have some information on the jack-o-lantern the feast of Hall you should know most of this stuff anyway uh using the elements and tree spared so that's interesting and the element and tree spread again so we have a couple of different tree spread layouts for using tarot cards so that's pretty cool as well so issue 79 i don't know why but the video actually corrupted so i'm trying to refilm this but every time i do someone starts renovating or something happens so it is now five days later and i apologize that this part of the video isn't going to be um the same as the rest of the video so the cards that came with issue 79 which it kind of freaked me out a little i literally said so we have card 15 the devil and card 15 temptation and then it froze it broke and so i was like okay but um i really like those two cards i like the fact that she has like the apple and the snake and the temptation thing for, like the whole adam and eve thing and then obviously the devil and yeah. then we also have the ten of cups the alternative ten of cups we have the nine of cups and the alternative nine of cups we also got this oil which is cash put put cash put cash put i have no idea i've never heard of this before please excuse my hands because i've been doing crafting so issue 79 hopefully we'll actually get a recording this time so we have healing with cage put oil or however you pronounce it. We have the uses of it. Detoxing your kidney. So anybody who's into uh, giving their kidneys an exercise, here's a detox for them. Uh, understanding uh, the corpse position. Um, natural healing right hand sequence is continued. And again... Uh, discovering ancient Chinese healing, Chinese herbal healing, creating your own summer love garden, making your love garden, introducing the festival of love, classifying the love, um, classifying the love festivals, reading the seven of swords, the Eight of Swords, understanding air signs, the range of air signs, understanding chart rulers, the significance of sign rulers, understanding the Eye of Horus, which is that Egyptian eye um, that everyone is quite familiar with. And also it has on the back here some uses of, said of the eye of horus which is obviously it was a protective oh, it is a protective amulet uh protects your eyes protects you generally it's good for health and it's good as a divination tool the whole third eye thing and then obviously um the eye of horus obviously horus himself and such for so that's definitely a good one there uh contacting the spirit world crystal scrying crystal scrying step by step and then on the back here our pull out is detoxing from alcohol which is not really much use to me but to those of you who do drink there is a very large pull out on that so on with the video that was pre-recorded five days ago okay with issue 80 we have two more of our runes so we have and i'm going to get these mixed up i know i am we have Iwas and Manas. I think I got that right. This one basically, uh, it's an M, so like M for man. That's how I remember it. Um, and that's us. So anything to do with us, man-made, humans, mankind, so and so forth. And then this one is, um, move, like it's a movement. 
it kind of I was taught to remember it so it kind of looks like a stable door like and you keep horses in stables and you used to ride horses so movement you move on horses so that can also be things like literally to move something or it can be moving as in like traveling moving house uh, going from a to b location distance anything like that so i won't go into that too much because i have got the rest of the magazines to get on with so we have two more of our runes some more of the i ching cards so we have ching ko ting Xian or Xin, uh, Ken or Keen, and Xian. Which I believe is dog in French. Or was that chat? One is a dog and the other one's a cat. It's been a long time since I did French. So we have the backs of the cards. those and then issue 80 so we have herbal remedies for oily skin herbs for oily skin performing the candle so more about yoga that the candle step by step reflexology left hand step by step left hand sequence understanding aztec healing more on aztec healing Circuit bonds with your pet friends. Oh, yay. Inside the mind of your pet, celebrating O Pet Festival, which looks very Egyptian. I don't think I've really heard of that one before. Symbols and rituals of that festival. Creating a tarot deck, getting started. Working with your deck, understanding zodiac signs. The different facets of zodiac. Understanding Earth Signs, the range of Earth Signs, and I believe I'm stood in the light now, we're losing daylight. Learn how to make your own runes, which is fairly simple, get a bit of clay and go to town. Uh, making your own runes again, uh, obviously you don't have to just use runes, you can engrave and carve and burn all sorts of things you can use wood and stone and all sorts uh, casting a spell with healing roses your rose healing spell contact in the spirit world electronic voice phenomena discovering electronic voices which i am totally not good with and uh, the three layer spread so we have more tarot spreads and again some more three more on the back so issue 81 comes with this large piece of dalmatian oh, dalmatian jasper i don't actually know if i have any dalmatian i know i have leopard but i don't know if i have any dalmatian jasper so that's a nice quite big piece of that then the cards we have card 17 uh, the star and also the moon. Ah, oh, that's nice. Don't quite know why there's a uh, lobster of sorts there, but there is. <laughs> the suitor of cups and the dreamer of cups. I like that. And we have the benefactor of cups and the mother of cups. That's nice. Issue 81. How to detox your sinuses. Relieving irritated sinuses. Performing the roll in and roll out. Roll in and roll out. Understanding geopathic stress. Counteracting, uh, counteracting the earth stress. Exploring Chinese herbal healing. Okay, it's slightly misprinted at the top, which is weird. Um, simple Chinese herbal remedies, your friendship and love. Making your pillow of love. Oh, that could be quite nice, maybe. Reading the Nine of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Understanding Leo. Leo in a birth chart. How to interpret cup symbols. So, 
think that's more of the tassiography stuff. Um, interpreting what you see, understanding the writing of life. I found out the meaning of photography the other day and it is to write with light. I think that's quite beautiful, do you not think? Uh, <laughs> just random, put that out there. Drawings of life, mystery of magical alphabets. Alphabet mythology. Yeah, that's what that said. Understanding crystal spells. Casting crystal spells. Festival of the Dead. Hungry Ghost Festival. Understanding the Hungry Ghost Festival. And last but not least, we have our Leo. So we have all of the items that are within Leo. And again, the big Leo poster. With, oh, apparently I've just detach that from the cover that's how easy it is to do issue 82 comes with more of these item cards so Queenie, Vango Fing, Lu, Sun, Tui, Huan probably murdered all those names as well so let's have a little look at the backs So that's more of the iTunes cards. I don't know how many of those is actually going to be, but it seems like quite a few now. We did get some more of these, and they smell nearly as bad as the others. I obviously haven't burnt one, but just smelling the pack them in the packaging, they don't smell all that great. And then issue, and then issue eighty two. Can't believe how far along we are in this series. Um. So, understanding the meadow visualization, performing the meadow visualization. So, I'm assuming based on the picture that's some kind of meditation. Performing the advanced triangle. So, our yoga again, and more on that triangle. Feng Shui for your office. Tips for the office Feng Shui. Left hand sequence continued left hand sequence more famous friendships Tolkien and Lewis that would be quite an interesting read especially for any Tolkien or Lewis fans creating your bracelet of love I kind of just want one how to make your love bracelet I know that is something that my sister would really like to do uh, interpreting the fifth house Planets for the fifth house, zodiac signs throughout the fifth ha fifth house. Um, more signs. How to perform a tassiography reading. So again, as mentioned, that book. Um, your cup reading ri reading ritual. Magic of nature's gems. <laughs> Using crystals of nature. Gaining ecology for spirit of Gaia. Working with Gaia's magic, uh, contacting the spirit world, invocations and oracles, and the art of in invocation. And last but not least, we have our pullout, which is understanding the symbols of friendship. So we have some more symbolisms of friendship there, whereas we had the love in the last set of magazines. So in issue 83, we have card 14, which is the sun. And we have card one of wands. We have card one of wands alternative. So one is a stick and the other one is a stick with some more loops. That's really good. Adventurous on the alternative there. And I've got a feeling, oh no, it's a bit more adventurous with the two of wands. And then we also have the king of wands there. I forgot to mention the uh, massage oil, which is Clary Sage. So we have healing with clear sage, use of said oil, making aromatherapy vapor rubs. 
and we are not on screen i'm not sure about this camera and how zoomed in this camera wants to be but i can't get my tripod to be any higher up so unless we are zoomed in somehow nope making bath um batch remedies um making batch flower remedies using detox methods to clear cellulite how to reduce your cellul cellulite introduce anatomy and psychology explaining anatomy creating your own venus mirror quite cool how to make the said venus mirror that looks good uh, reading the paper, I'm sure that the, if they're using real rose petals, they're just going to go manky as anything. Maybe it's a temporary thing. Reading the Page of Swords. Kind of looks like David Bowie down in this bottom corner down here. <laughs> What's going on there? The Knight of Swords. Analyzing the Palm of Mars. And interpreting understanding water science the magic of mythical gems using mythical gems uh, the magic of the emerald using your emerald contact in the spirit world conducing evp no thank you and then our pull out is the myths and legends of venus and then on the back we have a very large, pretty Venus poster there. So that is issue 83. So last but not least, we have issue 84. So in issue 84, we have these two runes, which are interesting that they were sent together. So we have Lagas and, oh, my brain. I think it's Ingus. I'm probably murdering that. But I happen to know what they mean, which is more important than their names to me. So... This one, if you look at it, it kind of reminds you of like the dowsing rod, like that you would use to find water, which is in fact what this kind of means. It's like water, feminine, flow, energy, anything kind of like that. So this represents literally the embodiment of woman or female, feminine, femininity and such. Whereas this one actually represents the man, the male. It's actually a representation of the sea, uh, fertility, and anything like that. Uh, now this one, actually sometimes if I grab a notepad, it's not always represented by this symbol. Sometimes you will see a rune where it has an X and then another X. Sometimes you will have a rune where it has these two X's together. And sometimes, like in this case, you will have this shape here. But that is what that means. It is seed. It, it means man. Um, fertility. Seed. Yeah. So that's what these two mean. And I'm going to get on with these writing cards that I forgot to open. So bear with me. Oh, we have an index for them. Okay, so are we getting towards the end now? So... We have another Xie uh, Shung Fu Hasio Ku. They're getting worse. Chi Chi, Wei Chi, and an index. So I'm hoping that might mean that it's the end of these terrible cards that I can not pronounce that I will probably never ever use. So let's have a quick look at the backs of these cards. Okay, okay, so issue 84, how to use sage oil. Uses of sage oil, aromatherapy for good skin. Treatments for good skin. Herbal remedies for PMS symptoms. Herbs for premenstrual syndrome. Using exercise to help you meditate. Exercises for meditation continued creating your autumn love potion and again using crystals for love divination and continued 
tarot and other disciplines your rune spread uh, analyzing the mount of the sun and continued um, oh what it says about you understanding cardinal signals the range of cardinal signs even signs not signals the magic of mother pearl using mother of pearl understanding the altar elements altar elements continued stories of animal spirit guides to catch a snake and to catch a snake continued and the lone wolf uh, arch ar arctic 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 the lone wolf of the wolf of the arctic my goodness i can't speak anymore associations of earth and a large earth-based poster to go alongside so again sorry this video has been so long i will try and get back to re more regular posting uh like when they actually arrive uh like i say i just had a plethora of stuff going on and i was also decorating my sister's room and medical things and thank you all so much for watching and i hope you had a fantastic summer don't forget to check out my instagrams i will put links to all four of my accounts below and i will see you soon thanks for watching bye